Hello, and Randy here playing Farming Simulator 22 on Elk Mountain, Wyoming. And since last episode, finished uh, building our shed here. So we got a brand new shed to put our equipment in. Which, by the way, when it comes to uh, building the shed here, I want it pretty much just involves selling the partially built one and then buying the fully built one and putting the fully built one down. That's kind of how it works with this uh, particular shed. Still kind of cool that the, uh, the mod author that uh, built this shed gave us that option. So if you kind of want to like have a shed that's being partially built you can do that if you want uh very nice looking shed too by the way also has some uh, nice lights in it which are uh, there's the switch for that so yep some really uh, bright lights in there uh, also light out here apparently that's quite uh, bright so i mean it's uh what is it oh it actually is getting fairly late here in the game isn't it just didn't, didn't realize it was quite that late already okay anyway well cool uh this episode i want to work on uh, getting some animals going here and at least uh, reading the comments here, uh, one person suggested putting the cows over by fields three and four here. That seems like a pretty good spot, if you ask me. And then keeping the horses here maybe by the main farm. So, uh, if we're going to put the horses by the main farm, the question is, where should we put it? Plus, I was looking through the mods here, too. I've seen one other building maybe we could uh, possibly put down here, which was under... Oh, what was it under here? I don't remember what was under here. Others... Oh, Possibly. Oh, yeah, there are some uh, ranch extension uh, elk mountain. I'm not sure what some of the stuff is. Evan, but yeah, there's a bunch of decoration stuff here as well. Uh, don't know why, but for some reason, I'm thinking uh, when I started this map, some of the uh, placeables that are supposed to be placed down didn't get placed. I, I don't know what the problem is, Evan, but something uh, clearly didn't happen like it should have here when I started this game. So I think I'm missing a bunch of that stuff, but oh well, but I'm not going to. Not going to go back through and try to fix that here at this point. Oh, here we go. Uh, the ranch workshop. That's what I was looking for. Oh, that's... Okay, that's taking a moment. Whoa, that is a big... Bill. That was bigger than I thought it would be. Um, In that case, where should I put that? I didn't realize this was that big. Got plenty of room back in here, don't we? Plenty of room. We also got room through here, too, but... Again, I'm like I said, I want to make sure I'm not blocking my silo system in any way here. I want to leave that nice and open as possible. I could put that over here, I suppose. Might be a good spot over here. Got a nice uh, open look spot. Now, what's uh, what's the front and the, what's the back of this building here? I'm going to go with this looks like the front. Yeah, we'll just put that down over there. Uh, this I'm assuming it was just supposed to be a shop. At least I'm assuming that's what this is uh, supposed to be, $150,000. Eh, Okay. You know, money we should probably be spending on equipment, but... Ooh, that fancy door. Lights. Cool. Oh, we got uh, three more garage doors along here. Cool, cool. Okay. Little uh, loft area up there. Oh, there's the... Presumably, I'm supposed to, that's supposed to be a generator, I'm guessing. But they're probably going for with that one. Uh, the lift... Cool if the lift actually went up and down. Doesn't look like it does. And I can tell. And anything inside the uh, the shop area. Oh boy, look at that. Coca-Cola fridge. Safe. That, uh, okay, apparently does not have a collision on it. And what are we, oh, looks like we're looking at the good stuff here, everyone. We're looking at the good stuff. There we go, now we're talking. Little John Deere tractor there, Winchester. Hmm, Dr. Winchester, I presume? Okay, anyway, enough messing around, everyone. Let's uh, get on to the animals here. Uh, so horses on the main farm. If we do that here, let's go back to our animals. Horses. And yes, there is actually a ranch one. Oh, there's an open range one too, huh? I don't know if we want to put the open range one here on the farm. Unless we did it over here, maybe we could uh, potentially do that. Because there's definitely some room over in this area, isn't there? Uh, again, I, mean, I did want to potentially look at uh, turning this area into a field here. So if I take this area over, I'm not going to be able to do that. Which is fine. Uh, if we put animals here, that, that works as well. Does it say... Okay, that one holds 25. This one holds 8. Ah, okay. So that's a big difference. That one, uh, 25 horses versus 8 horses. Yeah, I'm kind of leaning towards... Let's see if we can do the 25 of them. Because that's a lot more horses here. We uh, rotate that just a little bit, maybe. I don't know. I mean, like when it comes to trees here, does that really matter? In theory, it probably doesn't, right? I mean, we can just put that back in here. As long as we can access, like it says we need water and, of course, all the feed stuff for that. So as long as we can access that, one, I mean, that should work, right? 
Let's try it. Take a quick uh, run back here. Might have to maybe uh, cut a tree or two down that might possibly in the way here. We'll see once. See once what we have here. But yeah, if you ask me, that's kind of a cool uh, concept. I don't know. Does it actually stay blue like that? That is less than ideal. I mean, I guess if it has to, I suppose. That, uh, huh. Active placement marker. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So does that work anywhere then? So if I click here, no. How do I go about, like, if I want to turn this blue area back on, I mean, how would I turn it back on? That's what I'm wondering. Like, do I actually, like, have to know to go back to Because it takes the marker away, too. Like, I could see if it would leave the marker. That would make sense. That's kind of cool, though. I mean, so, like, if you want to see the area, you can do that. The only problem I see with this, though, I mean, is, like said, once I hide it, like, how do I know I need to go back to here? How, how close do you have to be to it? Yeah, relatively close. <laughs> relatively close. Okay, so water goes there. Uh, looks like we've got a little cleanup we need to do in here. I'm thinking maybe let's take, see if we can take this tree down here. Oh, speaking of taking the tree down. Uh, real quick, I went. Uh, construction. Uh, for those of you who have not seen it, the uh, Platinum DLC has been released. I didn't think that was supposed to be released till tomorrow, but maybe I'm a day off. That could be, um, nope, that's right. we got to go to the shop for this. This is in the shop. So, yeah, Platinum. Oh, do I not? Oh, okay, never mind. I went. Hmm. Um, apparently, I need to have it active. I did not realize. Okay. Don't self them. Next time I start the stadium, I'm going to have to make sure I activate that. I was going to grab the spray paint. I wouldn't just give that a try, but whatever. I'll just cut the tree down. Goodbye. Okay, so note to self them. Next episode, I'll have to make sure I activate the Platinum DLC. Uh, it did not occur to me. Uh, by the way, I've already started a Platinum map, and I was kind of looking at it and checking it out. So, but anyway, let's uh, see. What's, what can we do about that bush there? I know some of the mowers will sometimes take that down, so we could try that potentially. Uh, we need to get some water over here. Oh, that's always going to be fun. I mean, yeah, actually filling that with water. Hmm. Okay, then. And actually, let's go check our screen here for the animals. Open range horse pasture. Um, can I not, like, click on it at all? I guess maybe I got to buy some horses. So where do we got to go to buy horses? Ah, right here. Perfect. Let's, um... Oh, what shall we get here? Holds 25 of them. Um, or, well, 16. Thought the shop said 25. Looks like here it says 16. Seal brown, blacks, uh, chestnut. Sure, let's get uh, we'll get four of those. And how about a couple black ones? We'll get four of those too. How about a couple of gray ones here then as well? Okay, and then uh, it says we can hold four more. At least that's what it says anyway. So I've got chestnut, I've got black, I've got grays, some pintos, some palominos. Sure, why not? Follow four of those. Can I buy? It's okay. It says I can buy one. You want to purchase for 800 Why is that? Uh, price 3 um, Okay. Not sure I quite understand what's uh, going on there. Uh, again, going back to the shop here. I, mean, I thought that was supposed to be 25 Animals. Horses. Yeah, it says 8 it says it says 25 there, if you ask me. What? Okay. Is it actually only... Okay, I'm not seeing, like, a capacity. Maybe I'm missing it. I could very well be. I'm missing it. Uh, let's see. Let's go back here a minute. So if I want to buy another horse. Doesn't let me increase that number. Okay, if you buy it, what happens? Uh, you do not. Okay. Yep, I guess 16 is what it is, Evan. Okay, I don't know. Shop says 25, but there it says 16. Okay, cool. Well, now we need to figure out how to feed these horse seven. Um, I don't, yeah, don't think we have any feed at all. I doubt, unless there's already... Actually, you know what there is? Oh, there's seeds. That doesn't help us much. Oh, it's probably just showing us what's in storage. Oh, we got coal. Yeah, okay, that doesn't help us much. 
it's just uh, showing us what's in storage in our uh, system over there. So we need some oats. We need, what else do we need here? It's been a while since I've done horse stuff, and I've got to go look. Uh, base food, so we need hay. And base food, I guess. Okay, so we need some hay. Uh, we could probably work on getting some hay here. Maybe? Maybe. I don't know. Can we mow this over here? I don't know if this is going to be mowable or not. I mean, is this actually considered grass? Right, let's go take a look at the map here a minute. Uh, that did not uh, seem to change anything. So what's actually over here? Is that not actually considered grass then, I guess? Doesn't look like, because uh, yeah, some maps have one, you like turn the grass on and the, you know, the whole map is grass, right? I'm not seeing that uh, change here. So I'm uh, going with that is not grass. So maybe we should uh, turn that into a hay field over here. That might be a good idea, especially if we're going to do horses and cows. I guess we could get a mower. This looks like grass, though. Game's just not uh, showing that I can mow it. Yeah, maybe not. It is kind of short, isn't it? Don't know. Might at least be uh, worth a try. Plus, we should probably get like a mower, brush hog. Uh, see if we can take down that uh, shrubbery that's around there. Uh, okay, so back to here. We're going to need some base food. So, let's go to... Yeah, that's where I want to go. Big bags. We want... I thought there was one for horses here. There's the chickens. There it is. Oats. Horses. Double check. I think the bags were the cheapest, right? There's horses. So 1400 for a 1000 Or the big bag, 1000 for 1300 A little bit cheaper. What about pallets? Let's see what's what we all have here. Cheese pallet, huh? Mm, that sounds delicious. Fabric pallet. Bales, yep, okay. Actually, uh, speaking of bales, maybe we might want to grab a bale or two here. Square bale, hey, let's, uh, we'll just grab eight of them. That should be pretty good. Yep. And then while we're at it, let's grab a couple of big bags here as well. Uh, so oats. We'll grab eight big bags of oats as well. Okay. And then I forget, do we have our trailer up here? Not uh, seeing anything, so we might have to see once if we can pick up a trailer here. Uh, we can maybe take our truck down to the shop. And it's also, it's getting dark. It's getting dark very quick on here, isn't it? Wow. Where is our truck at? That is actually an excellent question. Not in the garage, I presume, because I have not parked anything in there. Nope. Okay, where did I put the truck? Oh, there it is. Oh, I thought I'd uh, grab this truck, brought it up to our farmyard. I guess I have not yet. Okay, in that case, Evan, I will uh, meet you folks back at the shop here. We'll get our oats and hay loaded here. And hey, might as well take the fuel trail along. You never know when we might need that. So yeah, I'm going to take this truck back to the shop. Okay, well, we're back at the uh, shop here with a uh, trailer. And also, we uh, turned the lights back on here in the game as well. Uh, bumped time back here just a little bit so we're not having to play in the dark. You have one? And then, yeah, here's our eight bags of horse feed and then our eight bales of hay here as well. Now, the trailer I purchased here, everyone, is supposed to be an auto loader, I guess. So if we go look here, uh, I believe it's actually the same as the in-game one. So if you like, yeah, just the in-game one here, but an auto loader version of it. Now, I don't know if it's going to auto load everything here or not. Um, okay, yep, saving content. Uh, so, yeah, I guess we're going to find out. I presume it's probably going to auto-load the bales. I don't know about the bags, though. So, we'll find out here. Let's see. I want to pivot this around. And I'm assuming we're going to have some options we have to turn on. Remember the auto-loader we used in the mining series for this game, everyone? That really didn't seem to have any options. They just uh, pull up next to something and it started loading. So, I'm not sure what's up with that. But anyway, uh, loading pallet, Euro pallet, huh? Um, probably not. We want... Oh, big bags. Okay. Big bag pallets. Is that bags? I guess we're going to find out. Uh, how do we turn it on here? Oh, there we go. Uh, B. Okay. I don't see anything actually happening here. I see enable auto load and then it says four next. Usually I think that means the uh, number of objects that are next to the trailer that it can auto load. At least I think that's my understanding of what it's supposed to mean. Try pulling up right next to the bags here. Okay, enable auto load. Hmm. 
do we need to like set a side on this? Although that doesn't quite make sense because tip side left. Well, we're on the left side. Tip side left. Okay. Enable auto load B. I think that's supposed to be working on it because it's showing eight there. And if you notice, if I back up, it's gonna yep six four two one. So it's showing what's in the range of the auto load zone. Interesting too, at uh, at least when it was in there, but it was showing. Set this up here. Does it work? Nah, I don't do anything. Uh, I figured the one with the sides of it might be safer here because I wasn't sure again if uh, some of these will be able to auto load or not. And apparently the answer is no for some reason. Okay. There we go. Come on. We'll switch this to uh, bales. I'm seeing if it'll work with the bales. And maybe I'm missing something silly here with this trailer. Like we got to turn something else on. Although it doesn't look like it. It looks like uh, from what I'm seeing here, I want it, you know, disable auto load. Okay. Enable all. Oh, of course. It's, yeah, it's not showing anything now because it's actually in the trailers. Well, in the trailer. Uh, how do we turn off this tip side? If I just push you again? Nope, that's right. Back. Left. Okay. Uh, big pig. Pallets. 8 out of 12. You first need to fill the one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, can I not change? Oh. Okay, so now that we have those in there, it doesn't look like I can change the type anymore, can I? Oh, that's a little disappointing. I was hoping to get the bales in. Which, I mean, we can manually load them, I guess. Which, maybe we'll, which, fine. We'll just manually load them. I was hoping to auto load these. <clears throat> the purpose for buying the auto load trailer? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, I was going to say, do they not sit side by side? They do. You just got to get them in there nice and tight. <laughs> yeah, talk about tight. Ooh. Trying to get back up on the trailer here. Come on. There we go. Got that one slid over well. See if we get this next one in here. There we go. Wow, that, uh, that fits in there. And can I get one in the back yet? No, not quite. So close. There we go. I'm liking that one. I'm liking that. Okay, we'll just set it up there. Can't get the trailer very well, can we? Come on now. That, that one there. Carefully set this one next to it without trying to knock that one out. They both appear to be levitating. <laughs> oh my goodness, you folks. You just gotta love the physics, right? Okay, fine. Get, get back out. That, that works. Sure. There we go. Okay. Back over here. Let's turn the straps off. Oh, that turns it perfect. Turn them all back on. Excellent. Uh, again, I, I bought the one with sides, Evan, so, you know, I figured that'd be a little bit safer. Okay, how do I turn off... Oh, let's see. Once here... How do I turn off the visible... Yeah, I can see the tip side left. Unloading area forward, back. Unloading area high, low. Unloading area left, right. Load here. Hmm... Not sure, I mean, I'm not seeing an option to turn that off. Okay, well, fine, whatever. I'll meet you folks back up at our uh, horse barn, that one, and we'll see once if we can uh, feed this to the animals. Oh, you know what? We should get something for water, too, shouldn't we? Um, yeah, we'll figure that out when we get back there. Okay, and we're back to the farmyard here in our uh, bright blue boundary on our uh, horse pasture here, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to, like, turn that off. That's kind of annoying, isn't it? Okay, let's see what's up. I, I never did figure out how to turn off the uh, the visible thing on the side here. No idea why that's still on yet. Uh, yeah, no idea. Anyway, 
Uh, okay, what can we do? Let's see what's set the auto unload. Works to unload here. Actually, you know what? Uh, tip side, yeah, it is still set on left here, so we should be good on that. Unload here. Okay, we turn the straps off. Unload here. No, no. This thing does not seem to work like at all, but like it's. Yeah. Most pathetic auto load trailer ever. Actually, it doesn't auto load at all. So, most lame auto load trailer ever. Okay, now where do we need to bring? I'm going to. Okay, probably right here. That is probably going to be my guess. We need to figure out how to get rid of some of these trees here, too. So, I'm thinking, uh. Maybe get rid of this tree as well. This looks like it might be in the way. And I'm thinking one more tree over here as well. Just, uh. Give us plenty of room to get around in here. Then I'll have to see what's what we can find for something to get rid of these shrubby bushes. You have one? Yeah, that should work pretty good, I think. Look out, horse. Come and throw. Now running over the bushes here. Okay, horses, you ready for some feed? If I can get up in the trail here and actually get this stuff out, my goodness. All right, yep, that worked. Now, how much do they need? That's going to be a good question here, everyone. Oh, we go check our animal screen here. They are... Okay, so one more bale should about do it. Not sure where we're going to put the rest of the bales. I don't know, maybe just leave them on the trailer here. That bale must not be quite... Quite used up. How much is left on it? Ni 94 liters. Oh, my goodness, really? Come on now. Bale's in the way. Back there a little more. Okay. Oats. Assume it goes the same spot, but not sure. Maybe not. Just a little too close. No. No, that's, that's not where the oats go. Okay. How about this side? Okay, where would oats go, Evan? I mean, that does look like it's for hay. So, in, in fairness. And that definitely looks like it's for water. Is there like another trough hiding in here somewhere that I'm not uh, seeing that is for oats, maybe? You got something else hiding in here I need to know about horses? Is is there something? I'm not seeing anything, everyone. Not seeing anything. And I've said this before, but this is what I always hate uh, about some of these modded animal pens. I, I, actually, not even modded, just even the in-game ones for that matter, one. Like, you go to feed the animals. Where? Like, I see one and only one feed trough. You have one? That looks like straw up there. Like, where do the oats go? Yeah, I'm not seeing anything for the oats, Kevin, so I'm not sure. Base food. Now, at least I'm assuming the oats is what they need. Maybe. Actually, let's go check here back to the... Uh, Oh, actually, the shop. Yeah, that's where I want to go. Shop, construction, animals, horses. And double check. Yeah, it says oats. Also says uh, sorghum, hay, and water. Hmm, okay. Well, I don't know, one. I don't know. Where do the horses want oats? At least I'm assuming that's what they want. And, and it's showing down there on the food is... Oh, actually, no, it's showing food now, isn't it? I thought it was showing nothing before. Yeah, it's still showing the base food is not quite... Oh, you know what it is, Evan? Yeah, okay, I think... Well, hard to say, Evan. I might be in the right spot here, but what I forgot... Yeah, that's right, this is Farming Simulator uh, 22, Evan, the way it handles animals. If you... Uh, and I'm assuming this is what's going on here. I could be wrong. You folks let me know in the comments here, but this is my thoughts. Uh, I, I'm guessing here at this point, everyone, that the uh, food capacity is full. It's 100% full. I cannot put oats in here because it is full. Yeah, this is something I've discussed at length in the past, everyone. We'll, uh, we'll refrain from talk talking about the retardedness of this for now, but... We'll just uh, park this trailer out of the way and... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Leave it at that. Okay, we'll just uh, detach that. Suffice to say, if that's what's going on, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to make a guess here. That's probably what uh, is happening, is the animal food is full. Stupidest thing I've ever seen. Okay, maybe not quite. I'm going to 
<laughs> Farming Simulator's got some real humdingers sometimes, but uh, that is definitely up there on the uh, list. Okay, uh, now we need to deal with the water one. Uh, that is a good question. How do we want to deal with the water? I think I have a water trailer already, didn't I? Unless I sold it. Let's see what we got in our garage here as far as uh, goodies go. Of course, the water trailer I do have it probably is a massive one. That's, is that the garage? There's the garage. I was going to say, that does not seem quite right. Animals... Oh yeah, we got uh, we got a nice little uh, trailer here. If it works, where is it though? Actually, can I tag it? Show on map. Perfect. Actually, you no. Know I think it's at the farm here, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's right, right over here. That's right. I forgot about that. Actually, came with the uh, the farm map. That's not something I actually purchased. I don't believe it was already here. Now, where are we gonna get water from? Stop uh, tagging that now. That's uh, that's enough. Stop tagging. Come on, show on map. Hmm. How do we like tell it to not show on map? Do we gotta just literally go show on map again? Ah, okay. It just doesn't uh, change the uh, the verbiage there as far as like show on map. You just click it again and then it doesn't show it on the map even though it says show on map. Yeah, sure. Okay, where do we get water? Actually, you know what? I've got an answer for that one. I've got an answer for that. Actually, a real good one. A real easy one here. I uh, might need to put some water in here. Yeah, it doesn't show any water in there. That's fine. Let's uh, go fill this up with water. Oh, that actually costs money. Okay, well, fine. How about 100,000 liters of water for $11,000? Sure. Mind you, I mean, we could probably actually get it cheaper if we wanted to. Uh, maybe put down like one of the pumps or something, and then that pumps for free. But that, the heck with it. Not like we're hurting for money, you know, one. We got plenty of money left over from our mining operations. I debated with everyone about taking that money away, but uh, I don't know. For now, I left it. It's kind of nice having a, a large sum of money up there, right? Okay, place your bets, everyone. What do you think are the chances we're going to be able to fill this animal trough of water? Mm, I gave it about 50 50. Okay, not seeing anything showing up. Oh, wait, there was something. I think, right? There we go. Wow, got to be like in just the right spot there. Unless it, maybe I missed it the first time, but... Yay, that's actually working. I'm on something that actually works for a change. Woohoo. And back to the animals. Yep, so they're good on water. Sort of good on food, unfortunately. Not much I can do about that until they empty out some of that hay, and then hopefully some of the oats will go in, and at least hopefully that's where the oats go. I uh, could be wrong in that one, but I'm not seeing like any other spot around here that looks like it's for feed. Uh, of course, uh, again, when it comes to these modded animal pens, I mean, you never know. It's just sometimes a guessing game as to where stuff goes, and I don't know. Sometimes you never do find, at least in my case, I mean, sometimes I never do find where certain uh, certain items of feed do go. Anyway, with that, I'm gonna, I think we're going to wrap this episode up here. Uh, let's shut that off here a minute. Uh, if folks have any comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them down below. Uh, we'll come back next episode, hopefully get the cows set up here as well, Evan. Uh So yeah, make sure you join us again next time. Let's get some uh, cows going. And uh, as always, Evan, thanks for watching, and until next time.